interest in the plan a vacation project in this project students are going to be asked to create a full itinerary for a vacation and create a brochure for their vacation and attempt to sell their vacation at the very end and by sell they are trying to convince other students or in a convincing written argument in the form of a brochure that their vacation is going to be fun exciting good value for money and it will have labeled budget um, cost breakdowns along the way now how they're going to get their destination and how long they're going for that is going to be a random selection so it makes it kind of fun so the students will be presented with a series of choices of cards so the pdf you're going to get with this particular download will have 120 cards and there's going to be 20 of each the budget the time the duration and the party size and there's 40 different destinations so a student will pick one from each category so they'll pick one budget card um, at random so these should be face down so it's it's a random selection and you know there are some cards that appear more than one such as the like one thousand dollar fifteen hundred so those are more heavily weighted but there are ten thousand dollar budgets and there's also a two hundred dollar budget budget and this is going to make it you know, very interesting for the students to try and adapt their particular vacation to the constraints that they come up with. So what you'll give your students is the instructions that go with this project. So they have to take their constraints, they have to design the, but the um, brochure and plan the trip out. They should be researching the actual costs of different parts of the trip. So they're going to have to figure out how to travel there, how to get accommodation, how to cover eating. So are they going to do grocery stores? Are they going to go out to eat? Uh, where are they going to go? What's the average price of all these things in their destination that they're going? And then also if there's any entertainment or miscellaneous costs that are associated with that particular travel, then they need to also sort those out as well. The more detail they can do this, the more value they're going to get because this is going to teach them how to budget, how to plan, how to research, and then how to sell via writing as well. So there's a lot of different um, personal finance topics being covered here, as well as social studies, English, um, math. Like there's a lot of different things that you can tie this into if you want to make this a bigger, more overarching project that goes cross curricular. On the teacher side, I have you know some instructions given out for you. If you are working in a virtual classroom um, at the moment and you cannot have students physically pick cards, what I created is a Google Sheet that will allow you to access all of the student name, like names. So you can put the student names in, um, to the sheet and then it will help you randomly pick all of the different cards. So how it works is on the right here, these are all of the different cards for each category. And then in the spreadsheet, it's a formula for a random choice from that list. So if you go to any cell that is not filled please don't go to one that is filled and you just hit delete it will reshuffle the deck and gives you a whole new list so at some point when you are sorted and you know what you want either screenshot it save it copy paste it into a, a blank sheet and those will be your fixed data points for your students if you are interested in buying physical versions of the card, so printed out on playing card material, you can send me an email or a message through Teachers Pay Teachers, and they are $25 for a set. So it's 120 of the cards, and they're two by two inch square cards. $25 covers the shipping and the cost of printing the cards as well. Um, feel free to let me know if you're interested in that. And if you have any other questions, you can reach me um, through Teachers Pay Teachers. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the product. Let me know if you have any questions.